Welcome to this session of software testing. The last session we talked about why to test. In this session we are going to see what is tested. Okay? Because these are all the fundamental questions that people ask before we start doing any stuff. Name it whether we need to go to a restaurant or we need to go for a vacation. All these fundamental questions will crop up and if you have a clear answer then it's always better. Right? So what is tested? This field is named as IT or also known as information technology. Right? They have not named it as software technology or computer technology but they named it as information technology because information is the key. Customers request only the information. Information is some meaningful data to customers. Let us take a bank. A bank needs a lot of account details, transaction details. If you take an online shopping company, the online shopping company requires a lot of details like what is a product being purchased, what is a credit card number, everything is a data and then if you collate all those data it gives a meaning to the customers. That is why this field is called information technology and there are certain things called programs. Programs are also known as executables, right? If you take a program, a program is nothing but <coughs> a simple set. A program always requires an input. It does some process on the input. It delivers output. In fact, if you take uh, our simple respiratory system, actually the respiratory system is not that simple as we look at it. Uh, a system, right? If you take respiratory system, then it is uh, air is the input. Then the lungs is taking that air and then takes in oxygen. Then it does some process. Then it emits carbon dioxide, right? CO2. So there is an input, there is a process, there is an output. Same way, if you look at our digestive system, it has certain things. Same way, any system, if you take automobile, then there will be a petrol or diesel will be the input. Then the engine runs that. Then it is moved into kinetic energy, which is nothing but uh, motion, right? So, any system will have input and output. In software also, we talk about input process and output. Usually the input is given by user. Can you go to a social networking site, you give your user ID and password, right? So that is an input. Then the system does authentication. Okay, are you the right user? Is this user ID and password matching to each other? That's the process. Then it is taking you uh, I would say the actual word is navigating to main page, right? If you take an email, you give user ID and password, it is taking you to the inbox of yourself. This is done by certain things called programs. Programs are nothing but something that runs inside CPU. A CPU is nothing but the processor and it requires memory also because to run the program. So you can name any exe files. You could have seen a lot of .exe file or .com files or .bat files, right? Or it may be a web page like .asp or .jsp, right? Or .php, right? A web page may also run and then there are certain things called uh, back-end programs, right? Back-end programs like uh, Java Bean, right? Or uh, Microsoft DLL 
Visual C++ DLL files. Again, I am throwing some technical jargons. People who are totally new to software may not be able to understand this. But over a period of time, I am sure that you will be getting this. So, anything that runs, that takes an input, that does some process, and then that gives some output, is a program. So, we must test the programs. Right? This is point number one. Because ultimately what is converting your paperwork into a logic is nothing but these programs. Second thing is data. That program, we need to check whether it does. Is it doing the right logic? We must test it because many times programmers might be doing some mistake because of that the logic may be right, may be wrong, right? The data we must check the integrity, right? Uh, if I give some data it should not be truncated. For example, I stored it in some date value in DDMMYY format and unfortunately the system is storing in MMDDYY format there is a problem. So we must test program and we must test data. Is this clear? Yeah, I think a few people, uh, in fact, actually I am taking a class in front of me. There are certain people who are asking you questions. Okay, some people asked, uh, what is CPU? Okay, it's a very basic question. CPU is nothing but central processing unit. This is nothing but the brain of the computer, right? So, without the brain, human being cannot uh, exist or say, cannot live. So, the brain is, brain of the computer is central processing unit, is also known as CPU. This usually contains chips or also processors, right? You would have heard about Intel, uh, Xeon processor or say, Athlon processor, AMD processor or a Celeron processor, right? All these processors are the core. They are the CPU building block. Good. Okay, some people asked about this, uh, what is .asp, .jsp, .php. Okay, again, the simple answer is, if you go to a website and write, and then you are typing www.something.com, and then somewhere it is taking you to some page where you are giving user ID and password, you could see, just see the header where you entered the URL, you could see all these. These are nothing but uh, web page extensions. Usually web page extension will be HTML or .htm but HTML or HTM do not run of its own but ASP or JSP or PHP can actually run so they are also falling under some of the executable things. Okay good. So we just finished uh, what is being tested. 